Oh, we should have our TRICARE health care fees tripled. Screw that. You're right. <laughs> when there was a promise that was made to each and every one of us, that if you gave that service, you and your spouse would have quality health care for the rest of your lives. It's just the same as George Washington said. Future generations will judge their desire to serve this nation based upon how well we treat our veterans. Well, right now, we're not treating our veterans very well. That's why we got to have Chairman Buck McKeon back as the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. We've got to make sure that he has someone as a counterpart at the Senate to be able to continue on the policies that he's working for to protect our men and women in uniform. We've got to make sure that we have a real, a true commander-in-chief in the White House that will get the right type of person to be the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of the Army, the Secretary of the Navy, the Secretary of the Air Force, so we protect our men and women in uniform. Yes. So again, as you sit here today under this beautiful California sun that will soon be setting over the mountains, Think about what you will pass on to your children and grandchildren. Mothers, enjoy Mother's Day tomorrow. But on Monday, think about the gift that you're going to give your children. Think about the gift that American mothers have given to us throughout history. From the time of those sons of American mothers that stood at Lexington and Concord and fired the shot that was heard around the world, a shot that said that we would establish a great nation of liberty, of freedom, of democracy, a great nation that would observe the rule of law, a great nation that would understand the individual inalienable rights that do not come from man, they do not come from government, they come from him, of life, of liberty, of the pursuit of happiness. Government cannot guarantee you happiness, but yet there are people that believe that we can have an egalitarian society where everyone can be equal. Never happened. If everything could be equal, well, guess what? I'd probably be down at the Staples Center tonight dunking a basketball. <laughs> but that's all right. The Clippers? There might be some Laker fans out here, so I'll be <laughs> But this is what you all have to realize. I've met people out there from Russia. I've met people out there from the Philippines. I've met people out there of Hispanic descent. We heard Larry Elder's story. The greatness of America is that no matter where you're born, no matter where you come from, this nation is so exceptional that it provides you the opportunities to, as the Army once said, be all that you can be. It is not about trying to make people all the same. Yeah. That's the message that you all have to send on November the 6th of 2012. Mothers, the greatest gift that you can give your children is when they wake up on the morning of 7 November 2012, Barack Hussein Obama will not be the president. Yes. <laughs> Then take him out to dinner. <laughs> but we need to have courageous leadership that is competent, that is committed, that is convicted, and has impeccable character. We need to have leadership that knows the essence of being an American. So I just want to challenge you to do one simple thing. It's tough out here in California. I know that. But soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines are far away from here doing tough missions so that you can be here and enjoy this great day. Honor them by standing up and fighting for this great constitutional republic that has been handed down for the past 236 years. I guess I got to fly by. <laughs> and you know what? 
might be George Soros up there. <laughs> hey, George. <laughs> they're not. They're not getting this country. Yeah. Right. Find five people that do not believe as you do sitting here today. And my challenge to you is based upon fact, based upon the conviction, based upon your beliefs, get three of them to see it the way that it should be. And then we will pass on a great, wonderful, unique, and exceptional America to the next generation. Amen. And God bless you all. And God bless you. VP! VP!